Hey you guys, welcome back. So I'm sorry this isn't the best camera angle. It's a little bit harder to film these bigger dogs. She's obviously not a big dog. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's a little bit harder to film these guys because uh, I typically use this stand right here. Um, but I tried to set you up there and it was just too close. <coughs> so just bear with me. I'm going to probably just be moving you guys around a little bit. I'm actually going to start you over here. So that way, when I start on back foot, you guys can really see what I'm doing, hopefully. Okay. So, I just did, um, the, you can tell by the title what the name of this video is, or what the point of this video is. Um, we're going to work on her little doodle feet. And, first things first, sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. I'm just gonna brush out this leg. I've got my Jersey pet comb by Olga. I'm gonna try to remember to say everything out loud, like very clearly. So one, so you guys can hear me, and two, so I can hear myself, so I know to link it. I'm getting better. I'm like a real YouTuber now. I'm gonna like link things and stuff, upload consistently even. Can you believe it? It's like a real YouTuber, you guys. Okay, so. Um, first I'm going to do the purple comb, this is what I'm using on the rest of her body, okay? So we're going to do purple, and we're going to focus that more on the front, right? So this, like, up until I loop it through, and I'll wrap it around to, like, about here. I don't take it down past like here, right? This is all, I'm gonna hand scissor that, okay? So, there's that. That's pretty easy, so I'd already kinda done that. So now, I'm gonna take one length down, and, sorry you guys, I'm, so, side note, my neighbor's house caught fire last night, and their dog passed away. I just posted about it on my story. So I've been getting some people responding about that. So forgive me if you if you see me pausing a little bit. I'm just reading messages for that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this oak home, which is one length down from what I was using on the body, the three fourth inch. Okay, so this is five eighths of an inch. I'm gonna lift up her tail. I'm gonna do all this, just like so. Okay, inside of the leg over here. This is giving us a guide. It's going to help us make sure our legs are even. Okay. So now, we're going to take this foot. Yeah, I did do her paw pads. I was like, because I don't really dig in when I do paw pads, so I was like... Anyway, okay. So, we're going to brush this foot out. Do make sure you do your paw pads and nails first. I've already done that. Sorry, showing you a giant version of my hand, but gotta grab those shears that are under there. So now, you see, I'm gonna come here, snip, snip, and across. Watch that paw pad. Know your anatomy. Same thing. Over here. We're going to go down. Okay, but notice I didn't go across under here. We'll get that in a minute. Okay. So now we're going to put her foot down. Let me see if I can put you to stand now. For this part, it might be easier. It's going to be a little bit hard to see, but basically you want the foot to lay naturally. And you can calm it out, okay? And just go trim in a circle. Just how you would want it to look. It's super easy. Just use your curves. Let them do the work for you. Okay. Now, once we're happy with that, we're going to take our comb. We're going to comb up. I'm going to use my big Como, or no, sorry, 
There's fresh swivel thumbs, whatever the hell they call these. That's what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm just going to start trimming around. Chances are, I have faith if you're your groomer, you know what general shape you're going for. So picture that in your head and just go for it, man. These, like, especially when we're talking hand scissoring, just go for it, okay? If you slip up and you cut somewhere too short, you can fix it, I promise. I've cut some stuff and been like, ruined, ruined the whole haircut and still pulled through and fixed it in the end. So have faith in yourself. If you make a mistake, it happens. If you take too much out and that, you know, it is messed up, whatever, we're, you know, we're working on a moving target, okay? So if the parents can't understand that, then maybe they're not the client for you. Frankly, the fact that we can get these haircuts as perfect as we do is pretty amazing considering we're working on an animal that has no clue what we're doing. Okay, so anyway, you're just gonna, sorry I'm yelling, but like I just wanna make sure you can all hear me clearly. So we're just gonna keep scissoring, check it from different angles, go behind. That's so key so that you don't miss something. And for me, these bigger dogs are easier to scissor because you can get your your, your shears into all these weird uh, crevices. Whereas like on a little dog, sometimes it's hard to get these like weird little spots. I can just see a little bit sticking out. Um, so I'm gonna grab my curves and go around this foot one more time. that's done, check your guard, because I was just messed up. Um, I'm going to put the one that we're using on the body back on. I'm going to take this off. And we're just going to blend this together. Make sure everything runs in smooth. Sweetheart. And this is a puppy, by the way. This is my unicorn doodle puppy. That's why we were doing a video on her. Every four weeks, never had a tangle in her life. I've been grooming her since she's 12 weeks old. She is a unicorn. She is so good. Her mom is the best. Unicorn. That's all I can say. My unicorn doodle, and I love her. If I ever had to, like if she ever moved or anything like that, I would be devastated because I love her. My unicorn doodle, you can't have her. So anyway, once you're happy with that, then you can move on to another leg. I'm gonna just go through and touch up her sanitary one more time, make sure I see a couple little pieces hanging out. We just want everything nice and beautiful. Still obsessed with the creativa, you guys. Obsessed. I love it. My favorite five-in-one clipper I've ever used, hands down, no doubt at all in my life in my life, no doubt at all. Just threw that in my life in there. You blame Peter Mon for that. He says stuff like that, and then he get, I watch too much of him and I get going. I just adore him. I'd love to groom his dogs one day. One day, Tucker and Boo the Radley. Okay, so, we're gonna go on to a front foot. I'm gonna just turn her little self in. Okay, now, I'm going to take my clipper with the comb guard, I'm going to do down the sides, down the chest a little. Okay, now, I like to hand scissor this area, but some people will just take this clipper straight down and just round the foot, that's fine too. Um, I've seen some beautiful grooms come out that way, but... I love a good challenge, so let's hand scissor it. So, I'm just gonna bring her little foot forward away from her little back foot seize. Okay, I'm gonna turn it in towards me. And same thing that we did on the back foot, you're just gonna cut in a circle around this tall pad, okay? Now, we're going to put 
your foot down. And try to bring you in over here. Y'all, I just had serious deja vu. What the fuck? That was weird. Like, intense. Like, you know, like, when you get it, you're like, whoa. Like, that was like, okay, maybe this is it. Maybe this is a video that's going to make me famous, and that's why I'm remembering. <laughs> Who knows, right? Um, as I, like, oh, sorry, Ava. So I move you around like a thousand times and look super unprofessional. Work with me. Okay, I tried, but <laughs> I couldn't make it better. So, I'm gonna take our little foot, see, brush it out, put it down. Oops. Oh, sorry, Ava. It's fucking annoying. There we go. <laughs> I'm just trying to film something so complicated. Okay. Y'all, sometimes I'm like, being sarcastic and I'm kidding, but then like my tone doesn't sound kidding, and I'm like, people probably think I'm an asshole. So I'm kidding, I swear, like 95% of the time I'm kidding. And if I wasn't kidding, then I would say it nicer, right? Just so y'all know. I said something in um, my video, my Yorkie video, about like I'm gonna link everything so don't none of y'all ask me where I got something. And I said it and I was totally joking, but then I like watched it back. I was like, damn, you sound harsh. Like, you don't even think you're like being serious. But on a real note, like, if there's something that you wanna ask me about, do it. <laughs> like, I swear I'm pretty approachable, I think. Um, so, anyway, yeah, we're just doing, doing the old circle foot. You just gotta keep brushing and trimming in a circle. Okay, now I'm gonna pick the foot up, shake it out. Okay. If you ever get a dog that's doing that, that's got their little foot like crunched in, shake it. And then they'll kind of slowly extend it back out. Okay. What you can also do Get, well, she's not gonna hold her arm straight enough. Normally, I need you to hold your foot out. Normally, I would um, like on the small dogs, especially if you put your your hand behind their elbow there, you can um, get them to extend their leg all the way out. Her leg's a little too floppy to do that. So anyway, same thing that we did on the back foot. We're gonna brush everything up. I'm still using the same comb. Take my curves. Sorry, my dog just got up, so she's distracting Ava. That's the downside about bringing your own dog. She can be a bit of a distraction to the others, depending. And I will move her if I have to, by the way. Um, she's, it's not gonna be a big deal right now, but. If uh, she was ever causing a problem, I would move her. But yeah, so this part is really just about a lot of combing and patience, really. Um, I find that this especially is a lot easier to do on my big dogs. but. I do it on my littles too. I find that when I hand scissor in the legs, they just look a lot nicer. Okay. Now, I'm gonna stand her up and kind of turn her a little bit. There you go. So I can see. said this but if your hand scissoring just don't be afraid to go for it okay you can fix it if you mess up it's not that big of a deal you're probably not gonna mess up just have more faith in yourself no shit I didn't even have a good pair of straight shears until March of this year because I was so afraid to hand scissor and why like, what's the big deal? Like, why is it so scary? I couldn't tell you. But it was something that scared me, so I let it intimidate me. 
which is so stupid. And now I love hand scissoring. So. sit when I can but for this I do need her to be standing okay. we'll, send the, we'll get off camera and do the other foot but alrighty. that's really it you guys just do your nails and your paw pads first Oh, and then um, we're going to, of course, go in again and take our length we're using on the body and just making sure that's all blending in nicely. I'm going to turn her. There we go. Hey, girl, sweetheart. Okay, so there's our undone foot next to our done foot. Our done foot back here. Can you stand up? Okay. Always looks a little rugged after I've been sitting on it, but either way, that's it. Super easy. I know, we're almost done, love. It's just that I'm ready to go. I am too. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye to Ava. Bye.